Christopher Columbus. Within this impressive mausoleum lies Admiral Christopher Columbus, who discovered America. His remains were deposited here in Seville in 1902, having traveled almost as widely as Columbus himself in life. They were first interred in Valladolid, and were later moved to the monastery of La Cartuja in Seville. After crossing the Atlantic, they were deposited in Santo Domingo, where they remained until 1795. When the city was seized by the French, they were moved to Havana. And following the independence of Cuba in 1898, they crossed the ocean once again to take up their final residence in this cathedral. The tomb includes a coffin, which is carried by four heralds who represent the four first kingdoms of Spain, Castile, Leon, Navarre, and Aragon. The figures are of polychrome bronze with alabaster heads. The artist who created the tomb was Arturo Melida. Of note are several interesting details. The figure of Castile carries an oar, symbolizing the passion felt by Isabel the Catholic for Columbus's venture. Leon is seen with a cross run through with a crescent moon, which recalls the Spanish reconquest. The lance also pierces a pomegranate, symbolizing the capture by the Catholic monarchs of Granada, whose name is also the Spanish word for this fruit. Both the taking of the city and the discovery of the Americas took place in 1492. Behind the monument, we find the Prince's Door. Its large neoclassical clock was made by Friar José Cordero in 1789. Above, a large rose window represents the Assumption. This was created by Arnau de Vergara in 1536. To the right of the door is the so-called Shellfish Altar, and on the left, the altar of the Pietà. The large mural which we see next represents St. Christopher, a patron saint of travelers who carries the Christ child on his shoulders. The monk who lights up Columbus's face with a lamp is St. Pascal Bayon. The artist, Pérez de Alessio, signed his name on the parrot at the saint's feet. 